right. The matter of reconnaissance aside, may I ask you to go to Earth on the mission? I mean, when you went to help Hitsugi, you fought some monsters we'd never seen before. Arx has named those mysterious enemies Phantasms. We don't know much of anything about them. Earlier, however, we confirmed the presence of a slew of beings analogous to the Phantasms. They are already gathering in clusters. We can rule out that they're native inhabitants of Earth. It's unclear what caused them to spawn and why, but we can't allow them to harm others. All we know right now is that something seems to be spawning them. Essentially, they seem to have been materialized via some photonic phenomenon. That's why they should be neutralized immediately before they can do anything nasty. It'll be cake for you, I'm sure. By the way, it's okay to run wild on Earth thanks to your photon recognition cloaking and spatial separation, courtesy of Arc's tech. So, really, my request is simple. Head to Earth and clear out those pesky phantasms if you would. Hello there, Monami. A little birdie told me about your recent activities. Leading a most wonderbar life as a summoner, yes? Ah, not so fast, Monami. You mustn't ignore a friend. Friends are the most important thing in this world. Don't you agree, Elizabeth? <laughs> Please, Monami. How rude. I haven't introduced her to you yet. Behold, my beloved Elizabeth. Dazzling, isn't she? The one from before? Oh, Josephine. She's getting freshened up, as they say. Exercise in moderation. Refresh in moderation. And love with everything you have. That will see your darlings to their full potential. My three loves are... Katerine, Josephine, and Elizabeth. They are the wonderful pets that summoners can currently use. Katerine is a quadruped. Josephine flies. And Elizabeth walks on two legs. They all have their own unique look and characteristics, which only makes them lovelier and more delightful. I cannot possibly choose one over the other. I love Katerine, Josephine, and Elizabeth absolutely equally. <laughs> Elizabeth, I know, I know. You love me, too. Careful, Elizabeth. Our arms weren't made to go that way. It's also bad manners to gnaw on someone's head. <laughs> oh, my. It's time for dinner. Off we go to the kitchen, Elizabeth. <laughs> I know I'm delicious, but please! Bonsoir, mon ami! No need to be bashful. I'm referring to you, mon ami. You share my aspirations, which makes you mon ami. Now, now, Josephine. No pecking. I'm not your lunch. This is your first encounter with Josephine, is it not? Isn't she cute? Her robust appetite is but one of her many adorable 
adorable qualities. The way she eyes me as if I am her prey only heightens her charm. <laughs> Which reminds me, have you been boosting your little one's energy on a regular basis? These darlings, they are very special. We must provide them with the energy they need to grow. You might even say that the love we give them allows them to spread their wings and soar through the vast sky. Isn't that right, Josephine? <laughs> you mustn't make a mess here. I think she's hungry, so I must bid you adieu, mon ami. <laughs> Josephine! No need to play the tyrant. I've prepared a most exceptional dinner for you today. Yikes! Aiming for my eyes, you little prankster? <laughs> is here. Of course, Arcs can only begin the attack with the go-ahead from on high. So the Phantom's here, right? They're fascinating targets. It's almost like I'm shooting nothing at all. Shooting them sort of like shooting false spawn. They're not alive. They're unstable nothings that are trying to become somethings. They're trying so hard to take form, and the sensation is just... Oh, it's almost too much to bear. I'm really jealous you get to come here on your own. I want to be a guardian, too. Well, whatever. Restrictions make every bullet I do get to fire that much more satisfying. So what do I care? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Toodaloo! All right, let's get this straight one more time. First, you don't know your own name. Right. You don't know where you came from. Right. And to top it off, you don't even know who you are, period. Exactly. Are you excited to have amnesia? Uh, sorry. Whatever. I can't do that. Kitsugi? Mm, don't look so anxious. We won't get anywhere if we keep going in circles. Okay, sirrah, sirrah, and whatnot. This 
It's weird not having something to call you, though. You sure you don't have a preferred name? A uh, nickname, even? Not really. Just call me whatever you want. Whatever I want, huh? Hmm, what to call you? Hmm, you kind of remind me of a hero of legend, so... Oh, I've got it! How about Percival? Hate it. That was quick. You said I could call you whatever I wanted. Jerk. Fine. Garrett. Ah. Galahad. Nope. Lancelot. Boring. You couldn't just say no for the last one? Uh, I don't have time for this. I have a student council meeting today. And how about something divine, like Alistair? Oh. You know, I kind of like that. Al. My name's Al. Wait, just plain Al? Something like Gawain would fit you better. Al, Al, my name is Al. That doesn't make a lick of sense. But as long as you're happy with it. <laughs> I'm gonna be late. All right, Al, I'm going out for a bit, so stay put and don't burn the place down while I'm gone. If the dorm leader finds you, say you're Hitsugi Yasaka's little brother. Little brother? Yes, I'm your big sister. Got it? Tell me who you are. I'm my big sister's little brother. Well, I'll get the idea. Okay, be good now. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hey! What? Is there something else? See you later, sis. Yeah. See you later. It's been a hot minute since I've had someone to see me off like that. Well, this should be fine for a while. I always wanted a younger brother like him anyway. for voyeurism, but we're collecting information. It's unavoidable. I'm going to convert the data to video now. <laughs> I wonder what we'll see next. Oh, no, 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 this isn't peeping. I've already established as much. This is respectable data collection, totally on the up and up. When the data fragments we retrieved were connected, they simply converted to video. It's basically an act of divinity. If you see Hitsugi, please omit this little detail. Young ladies value their privacy after all. Hitsugi, the next student council president can't be heaving sighs in front of regular students. I'm just a vanilla member. It's not like I'm the president yet. So what's the big deal? And it's not like you're a regular student, are you? Vice president to be, Kori Washinomiya. Don't call me that. <laughs> I'm just a vanilla member, too. Honestly, you should be the president instead, Cory. I'm not cut out for that. It's gotta be you. The whole student council thinks you'd be best. Uh, who's everyone? 
Besides, they're all members of the Mother Corps, so it's practically rigged. <sighs> Always a storm cloud, never a silver lining with you. Even if it is rigged, who cares? Only people chosen by Mother Corps itself can even participate in it. Hitsugi, was that sigh because you don't want to be president? If you hate the idea that much, I could become president instead. But I'd want your support. <laughs> mm, it's not that. It's just... Mm. Oh yeah, what were you doing yesterday? I didn't see you on PSO2 at all. PSO2. Hitsugi? Hey, Cory, give me your take on PSO2. My take? As in... Just tell me what you know about it. Uh, sure. PSO2 is an online game whose popularity spread like wildfire after ultra-fast ether communication went mainstream. Ether communication made the next generation cloud type OS Esca a reality. PSO2 is standard software installed in Esca, and Ether communication allows anyone to play it together. I'm not asking for PSO2 101. I'm asking what you've noticed about us in particular. Us? Oh, what everyone in Mother Corps thinks about the game. I get you now. As I just said, it's a game that anyone can play, with anyone, at any time, via the Ether infrastructure. The purpose of Mother Corps is to maintain Eska OS and keep it bug-free. And thus, the thousand-plus members Mother scouted for the Corps work to maintain Eska on a daily basis. Yeah? Right. And those bugs in Eska seem to be intrinsic in PSO2 since it's a standard install in Eska. There's a lot of weird phenomena, like baffling NPC behavior that can't possibly be AI. We Mother Corps members hop on the ether, investigate inside PSO2, and compile data on it. Data is collected without us, but naturally, there's a lot we wouldn't know if we didn't get in there ourselves. To sum it all up, we're aware that PSO2 is a game, and we think it can be buggy at times. Uh, yeah, that's right. Mother said it was probably because of bugs in Eska itself. But was what happened the other day really part of the game? Were those people real or digital? And those monsters that appeared here, plus that mysterious stranger, not to mention how. Kitsugi? Everything okay? Did I say something stupid? Sorry, I don't get what you're trying to say. Cory. Hey, yes! I know it's hard for you to deal with guys, but can you maybe power through to meet someone real quick? Uh, guy? Is it your big brother? Nope. It's not Anga? Oh, wait! Don't tell me this guy is your... No way! Wow! It's Suki! A secret relationship? You can't do that! If you become student council president, people will never stop gossiping about you! It's not like that! And even if it were, why would I introduce you to him? If I was right? No, just forget about that! <sighs> Okay, so the guy I want you to meet is neither my older brother nor a boyfriend. Then who? Who? It's uh, my younger brother? Hey, what? keeps some interesting company. <laughs> Apart from that, she said a few things of note. So, 
know. Over there, they have communication technology called Ether. There's an organization called Mother Core. And they think the people of this world are bugs. The more I listen, the less I understand. We'll have to do more follow-up investigating. Maximum testosterone threshold for you? So where did you find this little fella? Listen and don't laugh, got it? From PSO2. lot to take in so suddenly, but I swear I'm not lying. When you think about the entire situation, nothing else makes sense. I believe you. When have I ever doubted you? But if this is true, I wonder if there's a cutie out there waiting for me to bring him home too. This is a serious conversation. I I'm just messing. But something must have happened to make you think that you brought Al here from PSO2, right? If you look back at the chain of events, you might be able to think of something. Even so, everything that happened yesterday was all so unexpected. And I can't even wager a guess as to what caused it. Al, do you remember anything? Hmm, well, okay. If we could just talk with some of the other people involved in all this, maybe we could figure something out. The only other person involved is... But I don't even think I can explain who they are. I'd like someone to tell me who they are. Huh? Oh, I forgot to ask. Why is he wearing all that? Um, it's, um, the only thing he can really wear at the moment. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with a lot of unknowns here. But I know for sure there's one thing we can do. Al, you are in dire need of a costume change. New clothes? How nice! I'd kill for a makeover one of these days. Oh, um... Ignore me. I'm just muttering. Ahem. So, about Al. We don't have enough data to determine whether he came from this world or that world. I think we'd figure something out if we met him in person. But we can't have him coming here. Ugh, how frustrating.
This is tight. Uh, I want to take it off. No siree. You'll have to deal. If I'm going to wear something, I want to wear your kind of clothes. Yeah, no. Yeah, yes! Don't encourage him. You stay in that. It looks good on you. Okay, fine. You did pick it out for me, after all. I'm not the one who picked that outfit for you. It was Cory who did. You know, you really have a good sense for these sorts of things, Cory. We didn't do anything special. All I did was look it up on the ether. Just toss in your deets and... Bam! All it needs is your height, age, and budget. And it'll figure out everything for you. It's made by the YMT Corporation, which is all the rage right now. They even have a trendsetter app. Cool, huh? They have stuff like that? Wow! If only you had a smidgen of interest in stuff like this. Heck, I picked out your clothes, too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose sleep over what clothes to wear. I'd rather buy books any day. <sighs> You're the worst, Hitsugi. You need to get the most out of your youth. Food, games, fashion. Mm, now you're playing the youth card? What's this? It's an ether app. This is what I use to pick out your clothes and peruse the shop. And? Whoa, cool. I'm on that small screen. I'm moving! You don't even need to try clothes on if you have this app. You can rotate yourself in every direction, too. Neat, huh? What's this... your favorite looks... thing? Oh, that! I have the same kind of clothes as this now. I like this better. Jeez. At any rate, that's similar to PSO2's character creation screen. Right, exactly. PSO2's been around since ether communication became a thing, so maybe they based it off of that. Sis, I'm hungry. Oh, now that you mention it, it's about that time. Let's grab something. Leave it to me. This device has us covered on the grub front, too. Man, that thing, uh, ether, rather, is like crack for you. No way. I'm nothing compared to others. Really, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say people are all ether addicts these days. Oh, well. Society would collapse without the ether, so... Hmm. Right. And while you've been talking, I found a place that serves lunch. I even made a reservation. That world has low-tech manufacturing technology, but awfully high-tech communication technology. Its communication speed and infrastructure are on the same level as ARC's. It all seems a little... distorted. Like, unnatural, or abnormally evolved. Somewhat artificial, even.